One of the most striking images of the California drought has reemerged from Folsom Lake. Uh, because of low water levels, ruins of the 19th century town of Mormon Island are once again visible. KCRA3's David Beenick tonight, and just how this may be just the start of the st discoveries to come. On the bottom of Folsom Lake, Mark White snapped pictures today of the stone walls and foundations that used to make up the town of Mormon Island. You don't get to see this very often, thank God. Scattered throughout the town are rusty nails, pieces of pottery, and other artifacts that belong to the 2,500 people who lived here in the 1850s. Some of the pottery we found, you could tell, was either like a vase or some kind of a, like a clay pot just by the shape of it. Signs warn visitors not to disturb the site and not to take anything. But Janet Dyer, who visited here the last time the lake was this low, noticed that an old license plate was missing. Hopefully it's in a history museum somewhere and not on somebody's shelf. The surface of the lake is now at 364 feet above sea level. That's seven feet higher than last year's low point of 357 feet and 17 feet above the all-time record low of 347 feet set during the drought of 1977. Since last week, dam operators have drastically cut the amount of water flowing out of Folsom Lake, but the level is still going down, and with each inch, a few more bricks, a few more pieces of history are uncovered. History buffs aren't the only ones hiking down to the water's edge. Swimmers and beachgoers have the lake all to themselves, now that the water is too low for boats to launch. And the quiet, what do you think? What do you think about the, the absolute stillness out here? It's actually calming. We like it. A silence that's almost as striking as the scene itself, which within a matter of weeks may be like nothing anyone has seen before. At Folsom Lake, David Beenick, KCRA 3 News. And by the way, Mormon Island was not abandoned because of the flooding of Folsom Lake. The town was destroyed by fire back in 1856, just three years after it was built and nearly 100 years before the dam was even constructed.